All right, welcome back to Parts 101, Part 4, Mouthpieces and Condensers. So this is the part of the Dynavat that gets the vapor to you. So it's an important part. Uh, this is back to my early gen Omni. This is where um, some of the Omni stems started from, even though it's a short side. So usually condensers and mouthpieces work together and we'll start with just the condenser. Take my Shadow 18M here, pop the tip off, leave my cap to the side, use my master key here, pop the condenser out. Set the stem to the side, and here's the condenser. So this is just another one of the fun parts about Dynavap, the customization to do whatever you want. I threw in a rosium condenser inside my Shadow M because I like the way that it shines through the airport. I also switched the bottom O-ring out to a black O-ring, uh, just really to seal that aesthetic deal down. Standard M condensers come with two O-rings, a slightly larger one and a very slightly smaller one. That way when you're sliding the condenser into the stem, the smaller one can slide up in there where the larger one will uh, lock in to the bottom of the stem. There's not really a whole lot of um, craziness about the standard M condenser. All you need to know is that the way this works, when the condenser is inside and the tip is on, the fresh air goes in the airport, up to the top, and then down through the condenser. This rush of air up here and down creates a pressure pocket in this zone, pulling air up through here and down as well. So that's where you get this mixture of fresh air and vapor. And what fluttering does is increase and decrease the pressure in this pocket. So when you close it, it's increasing the pressure, sucking a lot of air up through here, making the hot, vapor happen and then you release it causing fresh air to rush in swirl around in here and then straight to your lungs where the condensers get a little more complicated is when we step up to the omni and on this condenser you'll see a pattern or a design and what that is is a helical heat exchanger so when the fresh air goes in the airport, it's going to travel along these grooves here. And using the fresh air, that's going to cool the metal down. So the, the farther you can extend that fresh air to run around here, it's going to make the condenser cooler, which is why you'll get a cooler hit out of an Omni than you would an M. I mean, the size also, but if we're comparing apples to apples and you go in XL, M with a mouthpiece to an Omni, the vapor in the Omni is still going to be cooler um, from this helical heat exchange uh, situation. The other thing with the Omnis is they attached this uh, mouthpiece here with threads, allowing you to unscrew the condenser from the mouthpiece, which pushes the mouthpiece into the tip a little bit, restricting airflow to make it more one-handed. Now, there is a positive and a negative to this. Doing that and extending this out and hitting it is a direct flow of vapor from the tip to your mouth. It is the same as closing the airport off completely. Now, that's if you have it completely restricted, is like closing the airport off completely. If you have it halfway, this is not the same as closing the airport halfway. Even though to your lungs and as the draw resistance, it does feel the same, it's not. And why that is, is because if you unscrew this halfway, it's actually decreasing the size of this pressure pocket. So the mixture area between vapor and fresh air is going to be smaller. 
So does it restrict it? Does it make it more one-handed? Yes and yes. Is it the same as closing the airport halfway? No. If you restrict it 100% and there is, um, it's all the way closed, it's going to be very similar to pin, pinpointing the, uh, the, the, the airport closed all the way. So that is the condenser. Then we have mouthpieces with the Omni, as you see, it's a uh, mouthpiece that has a threaded end on it with two O-rings to fit in the bottom there. With the M's, you're gonna get a extra long condenser or an XL condenser with a titanium spinning mouthpiece and three O-rings, one in the bottom that fits inside there, which is the same size as this O-ring. A slightly larger O-ring, and then another small O-ring that slides in there. So that's an XL condenser with a spinning mouthpiece to go in a standard size M device. We'll get you a, a, a mouthpiece on there. They kind of... Uh, made that a little harder to keep track of when they added uh, short Omni devices or Shomni's as they're called. Um, these condensers are going to be smaller. They will technically work in an M, but the condenser is a little low, making that pressure pocket way too big there. So it doesn't really work as intended. So the short, they do make longer, a longer version of this, which is the first iteration of where that came from. Uh, but other than that, it's the same on the shorter one. It's a threaded mouthpiece with a condenser that unscrews into the tip. And uh, that's it for condensers. So stay lifted. Uh -huh.